right, we're going to take a real quick look at the girth hitch. We don't use a girth hitch a whole, whole bunch, uh, but there's just a couple things in case you find yourself using it. Just know from a lot of the data, especially the data that's come out of uh, Tom Evans on webbing anchors, that we know that if we're doing a basket hitch, this is definitely going to be stronger than your girth. And it's always a good idea if you're clipping into an anchor to be able to clip two loops of webbing versus one loop and then the girth hitch we're just clipping one so this is your basket hitch so if you can just clip a basket hitch super super easy there's certain times where a girth hitch may um, be a better alternative for you uh, we just don't find it a whole whole bunch so a girth hitch is basically just placing that through whether it's a sewn webbing like we have here or knotted webbing and you're going to place that through and then it cinches out you can see we we've gained some some distance off that so if we're looking for for an emergency where we don't have other links where we need to gain a little bit more distance to get that rope to the ground or something like that that also uh, may be a time that you girth the other side of a girth versus a basket hitch is when we cinch that girth up it'll stay in our place and not drop down like a basket hitch is gonna is gonna drop down on us uh, so if we have a reason to be able to put that up high and we need it to stay there even when it's unweighted then that girth hitch may be the way to go. But when doing the girth, remember when we weight that, we wanna weight that in line as much as possible, just like what we have here. Uh, so there's not a bend, it's kinda of in line. What you see a lot of people doing is wanting to crank that over like this, and then they're loading it like this. This is not what you wanna do. So you'll see a bunch of different numbers as far as the strength or efficacy that the girth hitch takes away from uh, the strength of the webbing. And this is, this is the real problem is when you're bending back against that, and that friction is on there from webbing to webbing. So this is gonna take the highest amount of your strength away from your, your webbing when you're doing a girth hitch. So we just wanna make sure that when we do it, we keep it nice and in line with where we're weighting it so it doesn't put that flex over onto that other side.